Right, so I'm um, Peter Kemp. I'm a professor of uh, pasture science at Massey University. Uh, so th this is a, um, a large research project that's been showing that plantain incorporated into um, dairy pasture can be used to decrease nitrogen leaching. And a lot of people might think of plantain as a banana. Um, yeah, if you, so go if you Google it up, you'll get banana. Um, but plantain um, is a forage um, plant, but a lot of people probably have it in their lawn at home as a weed. It's quite a widespread um, uh, plant as well. But the, the one that we're using has been shown um, again and again to have this effect where it decreases um, nitrogen leaching via the, affecting the cow. So the, the nitrogen concentration in the urine of the cow is lower. Uh, it's, it's diluted in, in a greater volume as well. The, the compounding effects mean that uh, there's less nitrogen loaded onto the, onto the paddock in urine patches. And so more of it's used by the pasture and less of it's leached. Yeah, I, I, I think um, quite exciting benefits because the wider community has been very concerned about uh, nitrogen uh, getting into waterways and causing you know algal blooms and pollution and so on and what this um, work does is, is, is help cause will help um, decrease the loss of nitrogen from dairy farms which is probably the most significant um, area that the wider community worries about uh, you know and a, a lot of um, people I would imagine want to see dairy farmers be successful but they don't want nitrogen in their waterway and so I think the wider community would be happy with this kind of research because we're not harming the farmers in any way but we're in dramatically improving the environment over the longer term with less nitrogen you know, leaching. Uh, there's, yeah there, there's quite a lot of research um, here at Massey on other ways to decrease nitrogen leaching. Some of them involve some um, technology where you um, use, use uh, housing and, and keep the cows on the pasture for a, a shorter length of time, long enough to graze the pasture but not long enough to just stand around urinating on it. So you collect the urine in the shed and then you spread it more dilutely back on the farm. And so that, that decreases leaching as well, but it costs more. And I'm aware of some other research that people are looking at ways to um, increase the uh, size of the urine patch from, from cows as well. So, you know, it, it's like a lot of things, one solution's probably not going to be the answer, but um, by following up a whole range of avenues, I guess in the end, um, the market will decide, so to speak, you know, farmers will find some of these technologies more suitable or easier to do than others. It's, well, you'd like to think it's probably of general uh, interest to people that we can actually do research on such a big scale to test out these things, you know, that, uh, you know, we can measure the nitrogen leaching from quite large paddocks. Um, it costs a lot of money, but um, I think, you know, sort of, the wider community can take heart in the fact that uh, the money is being spent to try and um, develop um, appropriate methods to decrease the, uh, nitrate, nitrogen leaching as it is for you know, other issues affecting people such as climate change.